Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video lecture, we will be learning a skill of calculating the area of a particular structure, for example, the leaf using a square grid. So let's discuss this question. The leaf cutter B cuts and removes sections of plant leaves to make its nest. The diagram shows one leaf with a section cut out placed on a grid. Explain how you would calculate the area of the leaf that has been removed. So guys, in this question, they're saying that there's a leaf cutter B and what it does that it cuts out some part of the leaf and use, uses it to make its nest. So uh, we can see the leaf and we can see the cutout part placed on the grid, right? And what do we have to do? We have to just write down that how would we calculate the area of the leaf that has been removed, which means that we just have to find out the area of this part of the leaf that is removed by the cutter B, right? So how do we uh, find out the area using the square grid? It's very simple. If you want to find the area of any structure using a square grid, you simply count the number of small boxes. So if we uh, start counting the small uh, boxes, how many uh, boxes are there? Let's count. First, we will count the full boxes, right? One, two, three, four, five, right? So there are five and also six full boxes. Then let's count the remaining boxes which are not full. So I will uh, tell you a trick that how do you calculate the boxes which are not full. You can consider these two as a single box. So how many boxes uh, did we calculate up till now? Seven, right? You can consider this another box, this, this, these two fragments, right? So now we have eight boxes. And uh, what we can do is that um, we can count these as another box, so nine boxes, right? We can count these two as a box, so 10 boxes, right? This is almost a full box, so 11 boxes, right? And uh, we can use these two to count one box that is 12 boxes, and this is almost a full box, so 13 boxes, right? 13 small boxes make up the area of the leaf that has been removed by the cutter B. So explain how you would calculate the area of the leaf that has been removed. Simply, we will write over here that first we have to place what? We have to place a margin over here, right? And then we have to count the number of boxes. So what will we write over here? Explain how uh, you would calculate the area of the leaf that has been removed. Simply, we will write that, draw a margin, draw a margin around the cut area right around the cut part of the leaf right and what will you do what will we do next count the number of boxes right and which boxes count of, count the number of boxes representing the cut area all right calculate the area of the leaf that has been removed each square has an area of 16 millimeter square so guys they are uh, telling you that this small square has an area of 16 millimeter square so now we have to find what we have to find the area of the leaf that has been removed so we already counted the number of boxes and those were 13 so what we simply do what we will simply do is that we will multiply 13 by 16 because one box has we know that one box has an area of 16 millimeter square right so we have total of 13 boxes so what will be the area that is x and when we cross multiply so what we get 
16 into 13 and that's what I'm doing actually so what is the answer 16 into 13 let's calculate it Sixteen into thirteen. So guys, sixteen into thirteen is two zero eight. Two zero eight. What the unit is millimeter square. So the answer is two zero eight millimeter square. Always remember this point that whenever you are counting the number of boxes, different students can get the different count, right? Some students may get twelve. Some students may get thirteen. Some students even may get 14 so it does not matter the marking scheme gives you a range of boxes so every student has a somewhat a little difference in their counts thank you so much for watching